Welcome back my children to another video. Today I will be opening three One Piece card game official pocket binders. So I bought these like uh, the beginning of this uh, year. Actually no, no, the beginning of last year because it's already 2023. Um, yeah, I got them around I think it was February of 2022. I It was a pre-order. And it came um, not so long ago, but they're all from Bandai because it's the official, for the official One Piece card game, unlike the unoffi unofficial One Piece trading cards that I opened, the booster boxes. But uh, there was three advertised. I don't remember how they look like because it's been a long time, but I'm just opening them. Uh, they're very a very big box, obviously, because they're uh, all binders. And yeah, there are nine pocket binders, and this there's three different versions. Um, I one of them I kind of remember how it looks like, but the other two that including this one I kind of don't remember. It's a nine pocket binder set, original illust illustrate illu. Oh my goodness, original illustration illu 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 illustration illustration right? Because I'm trying to pronounce the ill illustration illustration yeah illustration whatever original illustration version so i'm gonna open them right away just because it's it's just a binder there was a uh a, what you call it they had the like uh if you were the first like 50 who ordered or first 100 something like that you did get a a uh, free pack with the binders i don't remember if it was for each binder or something like that or just one pack for whenever you bought the items the pre-orders um but you had to be the like the first 50 or the first 100 i, I kind of forgot how much but um i was not one of them i'm assuming because i did not get any of the the packs i already checked but yeah whatever i'm gonna open them there we go so this is the first binder. The other two are right behind here. They're very tall and big. So I'm trying not to drop anything. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out like this. There we go. Okay. It looks nice. All right, I put the box on the floor. Whoa, that looks insane. Okay, let me put these other two on the floor because I can't fit everything here. Okay, that is so much better. Oh, that is so cool. So there's the uh, the binder. There's Kaido in a dragon form. There's Crocodile, Kid, and Luffy. That is so cool. And I think this is, um, is that part of the artwork? The bottom right here? I think it is. There's uh, some ship and there's the marine ships. Ship, actually, because it's one of them. So One Piece card game. One Piece card game, nine pocket binder set, original illustration version from Bandai. And there's Ishiro Oda's name, because he's, he's the creator, of course. One of the best creators in the world. There's our One Piece card game. I'll show it like this, actually. I don't know why I was doing that. That's the, the top. Or the side, actually. The side. You can kind of see inside of uh, the binder. Let's see the back. How to remove or add pages. It shows right here. Cool. So, yeah. Just like regular binders. But this is for One Piece cards. I mean, I guess you could use it for other cards, of course, if you really want to. But I'm obviously going to be using it for one piece. So I'm opening it. At first, I thought it said how to remove like the this plastic, but like obviously that's very obvious. And why would they, why would they mention it here? Anyways, there it is. It's off. Oh, it feels so nice. Also, there's the... Oh, it does come out with a pack. No way. 
wait so then was i one of the like the the first 50 or 100 or something like that i generally don't remember the number it said but i remember it said if you order you're one of the first to order this uh specific specific number like the first 100 or i don't know 50 100 1000 i don't remember but um i didn't think i was one of them to be honest whoa as soon as i saw it though i purchased them right away because i'm like if i get the chance of getting a booster pack that'll be great in one of my previous videos uh the unaf unofficial booster box for one piece film c i didn't mention that i have a booster box of the same pack this one right here romance dawn i do have a booster box but i, I want to save it because it's my only one and they're they get expensive now and there's new sets for the the official one piece card game but like they're they are expensive um maybe i'll try to get one of the new sets so i could get at least one box but the the one i have now the romance dawn i'll wait some time to open it because right now is i guess it is uh i could open it on time even though it's been like a year since it came out the official card game maybe not a year not a full year but you know close to a year but uh when i do open it maybe it'll be more of a vintage opening because obviously it's the first set so i'd rather save it but i could say open up this pack and you know get a taste of the booster box well the the pack the romance dawn pack the set basically because i have i have not even dared to look what the cards look like inside the the sets i don't want to spoil myself i'd rather see it on my own i have not checked any video any page any i have gotten uh spoiled by uh like on instagram uh, some people just showing the cards but not i don't dare to scroll or anything just to not uh spoil myself and every card how they look i'd rather open one myself and react on how they look and how they are and everything i don't care how about the, how it's played and why not the rules of the game because i'm not going to play i'm just going to collect so all i care about is looking at the artwork of the cards and reacting to them because i'm sure they're going to be great and there's the types of the rarities i just noticed that so there's 45 commons 30 uncommons 26 rares and 10 super rares two secret rares and eight leaders i'm assuming that's like the most rare ones maybe i think it's the secret rares not the leaders but whatever I'm not too sure what's a leader card, but I'll find out at some point. But yeah, anyways, it came with a booster pack, which is very, very cool. I will open it for this video because, I mean, it is part of the binder, I guess. But for now, I'll leave this binder here. I'll put the, bind the, the plastic on the floor. All right. So next one. The next binder is the nine pocket binder set anime version. So I'm assuming it's gonna have like an artwork of the anime. I just don't remember how it looks like, but I'll find out obviously right now. I'm opening opening it from the top. I know it's kind of hard to see. There we go. Um, damn it, I'm having a little hard time to right here. There we go. Trying to open it properly. There. So, I don't know if all the binders are gonna come with the pack. It would be nice if they do. All right, so this is the anime version of the nine pocket binders. That is very cool. It has Luffy, the Nami, Sanji in the back, and Usopp. This is the the side of it it's in red here it's in black oh and the back has all of the straw hats except i think it doesn't have Zoro for some reason so there's chopper uh robin frankie brooke and jimbei very surprising it has jimbei because he just joined oh wait it does have Zoro right here in the bottom i didn't notice okay but it has Zoro 
Also, first, let me see. If I take that off, yeah, it shows the full picture. It's right here. The, anyways. So let me just open this quickly uh, from the bottom. So there it is. Now, if I were to take this off a little bit, I'm not gonna throw it away or anything. I'm gonna keep it as part of it, so why not? So yeah, it says Soro at the bottom. Very cool. And yes, it does have another pack. Heck yeah. Oh, and these are just you know, the pages. It's nine of them, just like how it says in the, uh, it's of nine by not nine pocket binder. So yeah, it has nine. Let me just look at the Brook one properly. There's Brook and there's Jinbei. So it's very nice how they included Jinbei because uh, he recently joined this year, previous year because it's 2022. I mean, it's 2023 and he joined in 2022. I know I keep getting it mixed up. Anyways, um, there's a the pack. I'm gonna take it off. Very cool. It's still sticky, so I think I'm gonna open them. And just because it came inside, I'm gonna put, stick it back on even though it's empty. I don't care. It, it came like that. I'm gonna put it back the way I it, it came. So I'm gonna put it like this just because to balance it out, I guess. All right, next one. And if I remember, I kind of remember how it looks like the night nine pocket binder set manga version. The manga. I think I remember how it looks like. I just kind of don't remember, but I do remember at the same time. I don't know. That's how I am. Anyways, trying to open it nicely. I know this is just a box, a cardboard, but it's one piece. I love one piece, even though it's just a box. It's literally just a cardboard box. And it only says this, I'm gonna keep them. I don't care. Okay, I'm trying to open it. There we go. There, I'm done. All right, so check. do that move my camera a bit oh yes the manga version the first book uh the first cover book from um the manga obviously but it's the time skip version that has all the straw hats now it's kind of hard to tell because of the little paper thing but i think it might have the jinbei as well the Jinbei is included in this one, so I'm assuming it might have. Yeah, see, it shows the back. This is the original first um, cover of the One Piece manga. So let's see. So just to show the full thing, and yes, it has a booster pack as well. Oops, I got, kind of got stuck. So there's a booster pack here as well. Very, very cool that there's booster packs. Anyways, let's show all of it. There's the official um, co first cover of the first manga of uh, One Piece. So there's Zoro, Luffy, Nami, and yeah, there's before the time skip, obviously. And they obviously redid the cover, but the new version with all of them. Okay, so it doesn't have Jinbei, but it has uh, Luffy, Frankie, Sanji, Nami, Chopper, Zoro, Usopp, Robin, and Brooke. So this is the manga version. And I will say this is the better, the well not the better, but the best looking one out of the three binders. I love this one. I love uh, when they have all of the straw hats together. Unfortunately, um, Jinbei is not in the picture. But regardless, it's very, very cool. And yeah, this is my favorite one out of the three. I now remember how they all look like, obviously. And like I said, I did remember. When I was remembering, it was the back, mostly. I kind of forgot about this, but yeah, it, it uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's how it looked like in the front. And those are the three binders. So um, I think this is my favorite one for sure. Then my second favorite, I'm not too sure. I do like the 
the artwork of this one. But I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it has a uh, Luffy, Crocodile, Kaido, and Kid, and it looks very badass. And then the second, the third one has, has all the straw hats, including Jinbei. I kind of forgot the back for this one. What does it have? What does it have again? Oh, it's, a, it's the same thing, but a different, different, um, like, um, color, I guess. I forgot the name of that specific word I'm trying to use. But yeah, anyways. It's just black and red. This is all full color. But whatever. So, now I'm gonna do the packs. So they each came with one pack. Like, I generally don't remember how it said it. If I remember correctly, it said something about like the first 50, 100, or maybe it was more than that. Maybe like the first 500. I really don't remember. Um, but um, if you bought them before a specific number or specific date or something like that, you did get a pack. I thought it was gonna be one for whatever, whatever how many orders you do, I guess. But I guess it was one per binder. But yeah, regardless, I don't remember how I said it specifically, but it did come with one pack for each binder. So I'm very happy with that. So very, very cool. So this is my first taste for the uh, One Piece card game Romance Dawn set. I do have a booster box, like I mentioned, but I haven't opened it and I might not open it anytime soon. Maybe I'll take my time till like it has more of a vintage feel because it's very expensive now uh, a booster box they're like hundreds of dollars the one i bought was on um, an instagram page for 80 dollars and i think when they first came out they were less than 80 dollars i don't remember how much but i just bought one booster box because it was at 80 and yeah now they're like 100 so i'm definitely gonna wait to open it the full booster box but I will be opening these three booster packs from the binders. I don't remember which one was for which, but I mean, they're the same thing. So I'm gonna start off with this one first. So there's like kind of like a bonus, I guess. But then again, they come with the binders, so it's part of the opening, I guess. But regardless, I could end up saving them and just opening them another time. I'm not gonna do that. So I definitely wanna save one of the packs. Especially since these are my first booster packs for the official One Piece card game. Not like the unofficial ones. Okay, there we go. I'm hoping it comes out nicely. Okay. I think I might have messed it up. All right. These actually are literally like the same. Yeah. The way they feel, they're the same as the unofficial ones because they're so stick stuck to like the the top they're so stuck together that the like the plastic gets damaged inside so i don't know maybe they're made by the unofficial one piece cards i don't know anyways okay that's the, the front Ooh, this has one piece film red check our website for more details what does that mean was an advertisement. Don card, your turn plus one thousand. I don't know what that means. I don't think it's part of the card, right? Like the the card set. I think this is an advertisement, and uh, this just says Don card. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So, ooh, is that supposed to be like maybe the the um, holographic? In total, there's um, three, six, nine. Wow, 12 cards. I didn't even bother to check here. Okay, yeah, it says here, 12 card booster pack. I should check the, the pack actually, now that I think about it. So English version, 0P01, one piece, the first set, obviously. 121 types in total. And so does that mean like types, does that mean the cards or like, cause these, 121 types in total yeah 121 cards in total because of these types whatever the, the the rarities 
let's see what does it say this 12 cards from one okay the the game cannot be played with this pack alone i mean obviously but yeah it shows all like the information and whatnot then uh important and distributed by it shows all of the information there there's the barcode there's uh some stuff there the website official website there's um what is the local is that for um it's kind of hard to tell approved by oh, okay approved by um what does that say should just yeah i don't know what it is and that's it anyways um not sure if that's the holographic or that's like a rare one but i'll put it back in the back just in case but does look cool all right so what is this oh um i forgot his name though elephant march shoe that's an event though um i don't get it was that his name i kind of don't remember elephants march shoe main ko one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two cost of two or less than add one dawn card from your dawn deck and uh, and set it as active so i'm assuming this one dawn card so it is, it is part of the game i guess so pretty cool the artwork is very nice and i think that's part of the manga but it's colored in but it doesn't look bad it looks very cool but i don't don't recognize is that his name or not okay it is because it's miss double finger that i for sure remember her name um i haven't reread the the wano arc and i haven't watched the show because i'm trying to collect a bunch of new episodes to watch it all at once or at the same time whatever so uh miss double finger draw one card and encounter plus one thousand so i'm not sure if she's like um would that be like she's a actual character like a kind of like a monster card or she baroque works or is she like kind of like a, a spell card a field card trap card i'm assuming she's like kind of like a spell card i don't know they do this one has an effect as well so i'm not too sure main and this one says on ko yeah i don't get obviously i haven't read the rules or anything so i don't know how they work but whatever i came here for the artwork so there's um hugh goro you may rest this card your leader or one of your characters gains plus two thousand power during this turn so he's also an active main. Cool. Right. Next is Mocha. Uh, from Punk Hazard. She's uh, the big girl with the big candy. I know she's, she looks small there. But she's uh, one of the little girls that um, Caesar the Clown fed drugs to. To become giant. Or try to become giant basically. And she's a character. Oh, she's a... Wait. They all have say character, actually, now that I think about it. This one says event. So, it's kind of like a spell card, maybe. Like a trap card. But the version for One Piece, I guess. Instead of same spell or what, whatever. So, this is a character card. Okay. Event. Round table. Okay, so for sure, this is not the name of the this guy. I don't remember his name, but this is an event. This one is an event as well. And there's a Cavendish. I cannot tell who's the one in the back. Oh, I think it's one of the toys from Dress Rosa. So, main, give one of your opponent's car characters 10,000 power during this turn. That seems like a good card. Next is another character, Penguin. Some from the Heart of Pirates. Oh, this one, this time it has two uh, different like effects Blocker. After your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it the new target of the attack. On play, if you don't have Shashi, play one Shashi from your hand. I'm assuming one of that's one of the other hard pirates. Not quite sure. Yeah, I think it is. I, I don't remember all their names. Character, Nekomamushi. On play, rest one of your opponent's uh, characters with a cost of three or less. 
and there's Nekomomoshi. So this time it's a different artwork, I could tell. The sim the artworks from the manga are the event cards. Cause you can tell because of the the words here, the Japanese words. And these are for just I think these are mainly made for the card game, the artworks. Even though I do remember seeing her like that. I don't know. Anyways. Very cool. Next is Brooke from Straw Hat Crew. Dawn times one. When attacking, give up to give up to two of your what? Give up two of your opponent's characters. I don't know if they misspelled it there because they have two, two, twice. And it doesn't make sense. Give up to two of your opponent's characters. Two dozen power during this turn. I'm assuming that might have been a misspell, but whatever. Anyways, next card. Ooh, event. Artificial Devil Fruit Smile. And it shows Animal Kingdom Pirates Smile. Ooh, and it shows the... The way it's uh, explained in the manga. What is smile, you ask? A man-made double fruit of the sewing per persuasion. A devil, I mean a fruit desired by all who seek power. He then cuts deals with the truly big players in the new world. I mean, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Play one smile type character card with a cost of three or less. Then place, place the rest of place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order trigger activate this card's main effect okay and i like how it has a bunch of different animals around the smile fruit which is what you could become after you eat it i guess then there's a character wait that's kind of like a shiny yeah it's a i'm assuming it's like a reverse rare like in other card games so there's okiku uh, dawn times one when attacking once per turn. Rest one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. That's very cool. Is that another uh, shiny? Okay, I think there's like multiple um, reverse rares maybe. I don't know if that's what is considered. Wait, then again, it does show here. So these are uncommons. Maybe these are uncommons, the ones right here. All right, I'll figure it out. Does it show here somewhere? Okay, it has an R. They will, this one also has an R. Where do the other ones have? Let me just quickly check. There was a, okay, this is uncommon, the double fruit one. The brook is an uncommon. These are, I think these are all commons. Yeah, all commons. Okay, so these are the rares. Okiku, Land of Wano, the Akasaya 9, and character, Jinbei, Fishman, Straw Hat Crew, and he's a rare as well. Very cool. So, on play, place one character with a cost of three or less at the bottom of the owner's deck. Cost of, I'm assuming this is the cost, right? Because it has a four. Trigger, play this card. So it's kind of hard to tell the shininess. It doesn't have shininess on the the character, but it has the shininess on the like the number on the um, the outside of the character. Uh, what is it called? The outline? No, it doesn't have whatever this is called. This right here. But it is uh, kind of hard to tell. But it is uh, sh shiny. Anyways, the last card. I know it's a different because of the, the back of it. And where's this? This is a oh there's a leader. So I was assuming it was gonna be like shiny, but it's not. It's Zoro. Okay, awesome. I love how they put Zoro instead of solo. Because this is English. And in the manga for the English, the English manga of One Piece has Zoro as Zolo with an L instead of an R. So good thing that for the official One Piece card game, they put the actual name, Roro Noah Zoro, not Solo. 
So Supernovas, Straw Hat Crew. He's a leader. Done times one, your turn. All of your opponent, I mean, all of your characters gain plus 1,000 power. That is very cool. And he has a slash. I don't know what that means. What, are, what does he have? Strike. So I'm assuming the way they attack. I just noticed that right now. Anyways, uh, he has five life, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, the other cards doesn't have that. Anyways, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, all of them have the same, actually, that I notice it. I literally have to pay attention to the cards. I'm not always looking at everything. Anyways, it's very, very cool. And the leader cards, I'm assuming, all are red. And that's very nice. Zoro. Out of all the cards, I got Zoro first. Anyways. I'm gonna continue with the rest. I know I'm taking a while, it's because I'm appreciating the art and whatnot, and the designs of the cards. Okay. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so there's the Dawn card again, I'm assuming. Yes, the same one. And there's the character card. I'll put the character card in the back. All right. So let's see. First is character, Komachiyo, Komachiyo, I believe. Oh, it has a little, um, what's her name again? I kind of forgot her name, but she's the tiny little girl with purple hair. And there's the big cat-like creature, uh, Komachiyo. Animal, Land of Wano. So that's a common, and that's pretty much it. Right here shows he's a striker. He strikes. Ooh, Monette. Very interesting seeing her. Oh, very cool. I love the artwork. She's a character, of course. She's uh, Don Quixote, Pirates, Punk Hazard. She's a common trigger. Play this card. That's pretty much it. And she's a uh, special. But very nice. Made in Japan, and I think it shows the the um the person who drew the card or something like that, the who made the artwork. Yeah, because it has different names. Now that I notice, so it says Hashi Hashimoto here for Monette, and this one has says uh, Hisashi uh, Hojiwara. So I think they all have different art artworks not artworks uh creators of the the artwork this one says bus b -Sai. i didn't notice that till now but uh not all of them say that so i'm assuming the ones that are actually in drawing different this one is uh tapikoa no wait tapioca tapioca i think and this one is uh Misa Ma Matoki. Misa Matoki. So yeah, because these cards don't all have um, names of people. This one is Susumi Mura Muraishi. Muraishi, I think. This one is Kankuro. Kankuro. Something like that. And then one is Sasashi Fujiwara. Same as the this one right here. So cool. So I guess they're drawn by different artists. I like this one the, so far the most. Anyways, um, there's a, you can be my, my samurai, Land of Wano, Kusuki clan, an event. And there's Odin, you should be my samurai. I would rather have you all. You may rest two of your characters, draw two cards. Very nice, another common card. This one is for sure a artwork from the manga. Ooh, there's this uh, Sai with Baby Five in the back. That is very cute. And the artist is Kankuro, like the one of the other cards. That's a very nice artwork. I like it. I especially like, like how uh, Baby Five is included in the back. The included in the card of the guy that she fell in love with 
at the end of Dress Rosa. Anyways, there's a character, Smiley, biological weapon, Punk Hazard, another common. And this one is drawn by Misa Matoki. This character gains plus 1000 power for every card in your hand. Interesting. There's a bunch of other characters. I don't think I recognize any of them. They're probably just, um, what's it called? Unimportant people, I guess. Character, Kurosami Semimaru. Land of Wano, Kurosami Clan. That's one of the evil guys, right, I think? Kurosami Clan. Type characters other than your Kurosami Semimaru cannot be KO'd in battle. And the artist is Hasa Hisashi Hiju Hijuwara, just like the others. Very cool. And the counter plus a thousand. And he's special as well. I forgot to check the other ones, but whatever. Then the character Jean Bart from the Hard Pirates. After um Law recruited him. Another one from Hisashi Hujiwara. Very cool. Anyways. Then Brooke. Did I get the same one already? I think I did. Give up to... Yeah, I did. I remember because of that. And he has Slash because he's a swordsman. Again, Artificial Devil Fruit Smile. So I've seen that card already. Then... Oh wow, the same the same rare one. Okiko. I was hoping to get a different one. Then are you serious? Jinbei again? Why can't I get a different one at least? And the last oh my goodness. I guess it, for my first two packs I get the same leader. I would like to get another one, I guess, at least. Maybe like Sanji, Luffy, Usopp, Frankie, I don't know. I don't know which ones exist as leaders, but it would have been nice to get a different one. All right, last pack. I actually didn't think it was gonna take that long to open the binders because I thought it was only the binders, but there's packs too. So what can I do? Whatever, I messed it up. Anyways, there's uh, the film red card with the Dawn card. I'm gonna put the leader in the back again. I'm really hoping it's different this time. So starting off with the event Elephants Machu once again. So I've seen that. There's Miss Double Finger, Sala. Is that her actual name, Sala? Because I don't remember. She's from Baroque Works. Seen it already. Uh, Hugh Goro. I've seen it already as well. Mo Mocha, what's it? Is it Mocha or Mocha? I kind of forgot. Mocha, I guess. Then the the vent round table. Are these the only cards in the game? Then there's the penguin. Nekomomushi once again. Okay, finally something different. Oh, it's an uncommon. No wonder. Character Sasaki. Your you may trash one card from your hand. Add one card from your dawn deck and rested. Cool, and it has slash because he's a slasher. Okay, how many common ones are there again? 45. There should be more than. Oh, Otama, there we go. That's her name from the card I was mentioning from the the big line, not line, but tiger creature, cat creature card. It's Otama. I had forgotten her name, but now I remember it. She's very cute and she's taking out a little dumpling from her cheek. And she has zero. I'm, I'm guessing because she's a child. Land of Wano, Otama. She's a character. Give one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 power during this turn. That sounds like a good thing. And she also has a one. A very nice artwork, though. She has a very nice sparkle in her eye. The artist is Hagen Tsuruji. Tur to Surugi, to Surugi or to Ruj, Suruji. I don't know, one of those, I guess. But it looks very, very nice. All right, finally something different. All right, the so rare is character Barth Bartholomew Kumo, the Seven Warlords of the Sea, Revolutionary Army. 
blocker. After your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it the new target of the attack. On KO, play one Pacifista with a cost of 4 or less from your hand. So I'm assuming there's Pacifistas in the, uh, as one of the cards as well, and he's a striker. The artist is um, Mo Mopic, Mopic, I don't know, but looks very nice. I like it. And this one is a, it seems more shinier. The background is shiny and so is the outline. A very nice card. I'm just trying to show the shininess a little bit more than it is because it's kind of hard to tell on camera anyways then oh queen doing his famous dance i love it so it's a character queen animal kingdom pirates it's a rare on play dawn minus one you may return these uh speci specified Number of Dawn cards from your field to the Dawn deck. This character gains Rush during this turn. Give one of your opponent's cards minus 2,000 power during this turn. This card can can attack on the turn in which it is played. And it's a striker. And it's drawn by Misu, no, Misa Tsutsu, 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 Sutsu, Sutsi, I think, whatever. Anyways, that's a very nice artwork. I love it. And there's a shine. These cards are very nice. I like them a lot. I think I'm for sure gonna put them in one of the binders. Especially since it's the first set, I'm gonna look them up by the numbers and place them in one of the binders. Not sure which one, but I'll choose one. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got Zoro three times. I don't mind Zoro, of course, but like out of the three packs, I couldn't gotten at least two different leaders. I mean, at least I got different rare ones. Don't get me wrong, but I get, I did get duplicates on my first three packs. I got two of the same rare ones twice. There's Jembe and Kiku. Oh, Kiku again. Like, come on at least maybe this one could have been a duplicate and this one could have been a different one like i don't know one of the other characters other rares at least that but at least these two are different but why the same leader there's literally how many eight leaders i could have at least gotten two sorrows and one like i don't know i don't know who's the leaders in the in the game but maybe luffy potentially law dofi I don't know, whoever are leaders in the game, of course, because I don't know all of them. Or maybe I could have at least gotten like one super rare, at least just to see how they look like. But whatever. It's fine. I don't mind. Hopefully it doesn't happen in the booster box I have, getting all Zoros. Otherwise that would be very upsetting. But that was great. I generally did not expect to get the booster packs. Either I was lucky, I was actually one of the first whatever number they gave to uh, purchase the binders or, or I don't know, they decided to give packs to everyone who bought the binders, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. It doesn't really show on the receipt that I bought them online, so whatever. But I am happy with it. I love the binders, they're great. And I like how they came with one pack each at least. And at least I got the taste of seeing the cards and how they are. This is literally my first time seeing each each card. I did not know about these Dawn cards. I did not know how they looked like. And now I do. The ones I did see that I got spoiled on by just randomly seeing them on like Instagram and whatnot. Where I think one of them was female Odin. And um, I think... Boa Hammock, Hammock, but yeah, those are the only two I think I got spoiled on. I don't remember seeing any of the other cards, or maybe I don't try to remember, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, that's the opening. 
like I said, I did take longer, mainly because of they, were, they came with booster packs, which I did not expect. And yeah, but I enjoy them. I love One Piece. It's the best anime, the best manga, the best anything in terms of books, games, um, anime shows, and yeah, to me at least. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next One Piece official card game video. Welcome back my children to another Garfield 2023 calendar segment. It is the segment where I continue showing the comic strips from today and the days between today and the previous video that I did with my hands appearing on the screen. So I left off, it was February uh, 6th. So there's the comic for February 6th. And I'm gonna continue with the 7th. So let's see. I wonder what would happen if I were allergic to cats. You'd have to move out. <laughs> Cause uh, cats always rules the house, of course. So that's for February 7th on a Tuesday. And the next day is February 8th on Wednesday. I read Shakespeare today. I read the washing instructions on my new short shirt today. Listen, I have been discussing literature. Your shirt shrank. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. He obviously read it wrong. All right, now for Thursday on the 9th of February. I know there's, I know where there's some cheese. Carfer just looking at him and now he's smiling very big. It's what I, I mean, you the mouse. It's what I do. <laughs> and they're both eating together. He doesn't consider a mouse an enemy. He considers it a friend. As long as he gets food, of course. I love how they make the mouse's uh, foot very big. It's just very funny. Anyway. Now for February 10th on a Friday. I am my own boss. Now he has a, a brilliant idea, I'm assuming. I gave myself the morning off and now he's sleeping. Awesome, all right, so now today's date, the 11th of February. It's a Saturday slash Sunday as well. Damn it, the pages fell over there, whatever. Anyways, um, let's see. Cats are the smartest beings in the world. Then John passes by. Not that the competition is all that tough. That's a very big diss on the humans, but obviously it's okay. And that is it. So I'll continue on the 12th, which is the same comic strip for uh, starting tomorrow until whenever I record the next video. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.